welcome. Today we're going to be looking at shuffling files, not just uh, the files themselves, but we're going to be looking at shuffling the contents of files and the file names. So uh, real quick, we're, I'm going to be using the shuff command, which may not be installed by your on your system by default. Uh, will probably in your, be in your repositories. Uh, I, I know it is for Debian-based systems. For some reason, I feel like at some point I heard that this command is not available in certain distributions, like it might be Debian-specific and Debian derivatives. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, just bringing that up. But uh, if you're running Ubuntu, Linux, Mint, uh, a lot of um, systems are based on Debian. This should be in there and possibly other distributions as well. But it's a very useful command. So I've got a couple of files here. File 1, File 2, File 3, File 4, File 5. And if I cat out File 1, you can see it has nine lines. Line 1, Line 2, so forth and so on. I can just pipe this once I have the shuffle command installed, the shuff command, and it will shuffle them. And each time I run this, it will shuffle them. Thing is, you don't have to cat and pipe it. Shuff can take the file input itself. So instead of doing this, we're going to do this. And it does the same thing without the extra process of cat and piping it in. Great, so we've shuffled up a file. What if I wanted to grab just a certain number of random files or random lines from that file? What I can do is I can do dash n and give it a number. So I'll say four. So now it's going to shuffle the file and output four of the lines. So now we get these lines. And each time I run it, so if you wanted to randomly grab different um, uh, lines from a file, but limit how many they are, you can do it all in one command like so. So that's shuffling the lines of the file and limiting the number of output. Let's do the same thing for files. So again, I have five files in this directory. Uh, I could do list and pipe that list into shuff. And now I have the list of files in a random order. But if we give shuff the dash E command, I can then say all files in this directory if I wanted to, and it will shuffle them all. Of course, uh, let me, let me um, do this real quick. I'll just say um, touch file one dot text, touch file two dot text, whoops, and file three. So now I have file one, file one dot text, file two, file two dot text. If I want to, I can also pass it, you know, this dot text. And now it's only going to return ones that end in text or dot text. Uh, and it's shuffling those up. And just like before, if we list out all these files randomly, we can give it the dash n and give it a number. So we'll say three, and now it will return only three of those files. So that's shuffling files, both the contents and the files themselves. And it's not doing anything, it's just outputting uh, the, the list of information in different orders. So you can then pipe those into different commands, uh, which we'll talk about more in a future video. So the shuff command, very useful. I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Link in the description as well as a link to my Patreon page. Thing out supporting. I hope that you have a great day.